you guys notice anything different about me? Eh, anyway, so today is Sir Tim Sunday and I got my trusty old salty vibes hat because I'm gonna be talking about someone. Yeah, and I'm just a little bit salty. That's that's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna be talking about this one girl from my high school. And I'm not gonna say her real name. Okay, so I'm gonna call her Jennifer. Anyway, so this Sir Tim I guess it starts at the beginning of my high school career, obviously. So I was a freshman in high school, and I met this girl. And I don't think we were, we weren't friends the first year of high school. I don't think so. Maybe we were. Like at the beginning, I think the first semester we weren't really friends. And then the second semester, we started sitting together at lunch. Like it was like her, and then it was like a bunch of my other friends, like this other girl, and then like we had a huge group of people. So we were we would all sit together at the same spot, and it was really cool. Like I considered her like a real friend. Like she slept over at my house one day, um, I don't know, like I, she invited me to parties, like I don't know, we were like, we weren't like best friends and we weren't like texting every day, but like, we had each other's number and like, we liked each other's pictures on Instagram, like, <laughs> and we sat together at lunch, like whatever. We didn't talk that much either because there's a big group that we sat with, so it's like, we were like acquaintances kind of, but like she was in my friend's group. So, sophomore year comes around and we're still sitting in the same group and like, you know, like your freshman year, you have a bunch of friends and then like, Sophomore year you have a little bit less and then like senior year you like have like two friends. Well That was like what was happening. So my sophomore year like eventually some people started like hanging out with other people But we were still pretty a big group and I remember That we um jennifer and I had the same first period class So we would walk to class together and there's this one guy that like, I'm not even mad about this to be honest but there's this one guy that like we would always walk by and like he would always like eye us so hard like like we always made eye contact with him and we were like Jennifer and I would always like freak out and be like oh my god this guy's so cute like whatever 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 and like he was like he was pretty cute and he would always like you can tell like when he eyed us he like eyed us like like see, like it was just like you can I don't know like, I can't even explain it but like you can tell so we were like freak out about him and then like he knew one of our friends so um, he like our friend was trying to like talk to him for us, but then like he started talking to Jennifer So I was like, oh damn, so I told Jennifer that I had a crush on this other kid and what was what did I what the fuck? It's a big ass aunt over there I don't remember what I named him. I don't know if you remember one of the last couple of videos but I was talking about there's three kids in my class named Dylan. So I told her I had a crush on one of the Dylans and um, She was like, oh my god, and like, I would like Cause she was basically taking the other guy that would eye us like while we walked down the ha hallway so i was like okay like i have a crush on this guy like you know you can have him i don't care whatever i have a crush on this guy so like i would just tell her every time i would talk to dylan i'd be like oh my god dylan or like i just i don't know i like, had a really big crush on him and like he always had a girlfriend like all the freshman year so like i didn't really talk to him that much but then like sophomore year he didn't have a girlfriend so it's like oh he's available so like i tried like not to talk to him but like I just, I don't know, I, was, I don't even know what I did, but I thought he was cute. So then, time goes on, and then Dylan and Jennifer start talking, and I'm like, looking at Jennifer like, you bitch. Like, first you take the first guy, then you take the second guy, like, what, what type of, like, hoes before bros shit is this? So I'm like, obviously I'm pissed, but... I'm just like whatever so I start dating you know what the worst part of this whole thing was that we still sat together at lunch so Jennifer brings Dylan over to sit with us at lunch and I'm just sitting there at the lunch table like like rocking in my little ball like it's awkward because obviously everybody at the lunch table knows that I liked Dylan <laughs> so it was just like really weird they last like three months together and then they break up I felt heartbroken and like I told Jennifer at this moment I was like I'm never gonna tell you who I like ever again. Like, I just don't trust you. Like, how am I gonna tell you who I like? And like, you're gonna go do that shit to me. So we still sat together and I didn't like hate her after that, but I was kind of like pissed at her, but whatever. Time goes on. And then she first starts talking to this other kid that coincidentally, his name was also Dylan. Well, not Dylan, but like Dylan. And she like tried to hide it from like, <laughs> she tried, I swear she tried to hide it so hard but like, I can tell they were talking like I knew like he would like walk her to class and shit also this was around the time where you can see people's favorites on snapchat and whenever I looked at her snapchat or one of their favorites like they were each other's favorites so I knew they were talking but like it wasn't that I you know, I told her I liked him but like I was kind of like not talking to him but like there was like this whole drama thing with me and that Dylan and I'll tell you guys that's a separate story time so I'm not gonna go into that but like we were kind of like talking at the end of the school year so 
Okay, let me explain this. So, sophomore year, I liked Dylan number one, and Jennifer took him, so I was like, okay, I'll start talking to Dylan number two then, because he's cute too. <laughs> so then I started, like, not talking, well, I don't know if we were, like, I don't know if we were, like, talking, but we were, like, kind of talking, like, I don't know, and th this whole, like, shit pops off, and, like, everybody hates me, and there's a bunch of drama, and I'll just tell you about that later, and whatever the school year ends and there's summer and like Dylan and I stopped talking and then I guess during the summer he stopped talking to me and he started talking to Jennifer but like obviously I was just talking to him so Jennifer didn't tell me anything because she's always stealing my guys when I'm they were never my guys but like she's always stealing the guys that I like that had a crush on so she like tries to hide it at the beginning of her junior year but like I know she's talking to him and I'm just like salty because salty get it salty I'm salty because she won't tell me like I'm over him already like it's just like I don't know this girl's always taking all the guys what well, was always taking all the guys that I liked and like after that I like I didn't like tell her like oh, I forgive you or like I never like had any resentment towards her like after that you know like I acted normal but like deep down I was always like a little bit but hurt but yeah I don't know why I'm telling you guys a story and I don't know if the story time is even interesting we didn't really have beef ever like we never fought or anything like that but like like, I don't know, we still like like each other's pictures on Instagram. <laughs> and I don't think I have her number anymore, but she recently commented on one of my pictures from from one of my trips. And she was like, you look so cute. And yeah, so we're okay. But I guess I just wanted to like let you guys know that there's this one girl in my school that I always like, like if I told her I like someone, she would always be like, oh yeah, me too. And I was like, damn it. And she was always like pretty. Like all the guys thought she was like super pretty. Like she was skinny and like, she had like a big butt, not really, but like she had a big butt kind of. So all the guys were like, oh my God, Jennifer. And like she's like, she was just pretty, I guess. Hence why I have the Salty Vibes shirt. Although, you know, I mean, I was pretty too. I just, I don't know. I don't know why guys didn't like me. I really don't know why guys didn't like me in high school. Like for real, like guys, like they would like talk to me or like give me like attention for like a week. And then they'd be like, okay, peace. Like, was that like not easy or something? Is that why? <laughs> Guys wouldn't talk to me. When I was a freshman, all the bunch of seniors tried talking to me, but that's because like I have a big butt. But like I feel like they tried talking to me. They were like, oh she has a big butt, maybe she'll like let me like hit it or whatever. But like I'd be like, no. And then like they'd be like, okay, never mind. <laughs> right? So I think that's what happened to the guys in my high school. They thought that they could get away with talking to me and then like having sex and then I would just be like, no, that's not gonna happen. And then they'd be like, okay, never mind, then I don't talk to you bitch. So yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this like this ramble, this like random little clips. I don't even know what to say. Like it's just like really random. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you like my new hair. Isn't it so pretty? Ah! Quincy did it for me. Bye. I don't really care if you cry. Should've saw the way she looked me in my